Hello, how doing? So I haven't uh, recorded a video in a long time, but decided to make a new video because I've just bought a new brand laptop, Asus uh, Gigabyte G5. It has RTX 3060, 60 bytes of VRAM, i5 11 generation CPU, and DDR4, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, a few months ago I had a laptop MSI GF65 fin. If you remember, I did a video test uh, about that laptop. If you want to try to find out how it works, so you can check my channel. So yeah, instead of 10th generation, right now I have 11th generation CPU. It is much better because 11 generation CPU is much smaller so it uh, reduces the temperature of entire machine. Uh, what else about this laptop? Actually I like it because it has a full keyboard, it has a numpad, it's a big plus if you uh, like to work with a blender because uh, it helps you to save time to navigate in viewport. So yeah, also it has a, a plastic palm rest. MSI GF65 had a, a metal palm rest. Uh, yet it metal palm rest keeps to keep the top surface much cooler. But uh, I actually like this laptop. Also it has a, a, a another slot for HD hard drive. Instead of M2, you can install uh, the second uh, driver, uh, the HDD H driver, so it's much cheaper to increase the capacity of a laptop. So yeah, I just downloaded uh, six files for Blender. It is uh, it has files. So the first scene is uh, a flat. I will show you how to enable system preferences. RTX 3060 is enabled and CPU render is enabled. Of course, OptiX X for RTX uh, GPUs. All right, uh, render engine cycles and device GPU compute. Uh, what tells uh, the noise? course should be OptiX for RTX GPU. All right, if I go to render it a mode, uh, yeah, we can actually navigate in the scene and render the scene instantly by 300 samples, but about five seconds actually to render an uh, entire scene and I can easily change uh, to duplicate, for example, change colors and model actually in the scene. What about statistics? Uh, actually, RTX 3060. If I try to navigate, about 90% uh, usage. Uh, what else? i5 uh, only 10% usage. DDR4 about 10 GB. RAM are usable right now. So yeah, vertices uh, about eight uh, eight hundred thousand vertices. So pretty pretty normal scene. If uh, if you are a beginner, so it should be a normal scene for you. Architecture scene, uh, intern scene. All right, so let's move on. And another scene, Blender 2, all right, let's see. So yeah, it's a leg legendary uh, mesh scene with a girl. All right, if I try to enable rendered mode, let's try to enable the noise of the X cycles. Also enabled and let's see. Uh, this scene is slightly heavy. 
heavier and it has about 1 million 600 vertices uh, what about our text about 90 percent uh, our usage of GPU i5 yeah so uh, again about 10 percent so yeah if you want to create scene like that pretty medium scene uh, you can do this uh, this laptop uh, FPS also pretty good score uh, 60 FPS per second, so yeah. Alright, what about another scene? Tree creature. So yeah, this scene is uh, animation of this tree creature. If I press space button on the key keyboard, as you can see, uh, the tree is moving, the creature is moving. And right now I'm getting about F uh, 5 FPS. And what else? Also, another statistics is uh, are visible here. So yeah, RTX 3060, about 25, 20 up to uh, 1000 uh, percent. Memory about six gigabytes of VRAM, uh, of DDR4 RAM, and only two gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, yeah. So right now we are in EV mode. If I try to change to cycles mode and enable the noise with OptiX. Uh, what we get right now, uh, almost the same. Temperatures are pretty normal, of course. So if you want to change something and to create an animation like that, you will be able to do that with this lot all right what tells uh tree leaves uh yeah so it is a geometry node scene so let's see how to handle this with this scene all right as gpu compute and the noise let's change to up the x and let's try to enable render it mode and we have about uh, only one uh, ninety six thousand vertices, so it's pretty pretty small scene, yeah. So what uh, what I can say about statistics uh, RTX usage, uh, yeah. So then it uh, renders the scene; it goes up to one hundred percent, but. Right now, memory, the most important thi thing to keep uh, mem memory uh, not over uh, 6 GB of VRAM. The temperatures are pretty normal. So yeah, if you want to create a scene with geometry nodes, it will be fine, actually. But keep in mind, if you want uh, to make an open world scene with a lot of trees and a forest, uh, I don't think so, because right now two gigabytes of VRAM uh, usage. But if you create a lot of trees, uh, different trees, uh, uh, grassy ground, it will be a uh, it will be a heavy scene actually, slightly complex. So keep in mind that. Of course, keep in mind that uh, right now I'm, I'm recording with OBX, so uh, performance should be not not uh, not the same as right now. All right, so flat uh, already seen three leaves. All right, so let's see Blender free scene. Uh, yeah, it is uh, one million vertices scene. Um, pretty, pretty medium, yeah. Scene, let's go to render it mode. It is a mountain with uh, with water, yeah, a lot of reflections in the scene, yeah. And we are getting around uh, 40 FPS, so pretty decent score. Memory also about uh, three gigabytes of VRAM 
So yeah, we've seen, I guess we've seen is optimized very well, so that's why we can handle the scene. All right, and let's see. I guess the last one, Blender 3.3 version file. So it is the newest, newest file, and I guess it was created uh, a few weeks ago because we are using also the newest Blender version, 3.3.1. It is a, a huge town, yeah. A lot of castles, water, grass, I see. Uh, it has almost 3 million vertices, 3 million faces. And yeah, sometimes it takes a few minutes to build up scene if you open scene like this one uh, for first time because I uh, opened the scene a few minutes ago, so already it built for me. Uh, right now it has about 1000 samples, and you will see how fast it, uh, it, it will go. About 6 seconds, I guess, to render scene like that. That's pretty decent score. Actually, because we have a, a lot of, if I zoom in, a lot of buildings, a lot of trees. Yeah, but the scene is optimized very well. If you create uh, the scene uh, just as a beginner, it would be much, uh, much more bigger for VRAM. Right now, all, only 8 GB of VRAM are usable. So, yeah. A uh, lot of reflections, mountains, grass. So. so yeah, if you want to open and to change something in scene like that, you will be able to do this this machine, as you can see. Yeah. So actually, that's it. Uh, if you're looking a laptop for uh, small projects, for medium projects, uh, slightly complex scenes. Uh, yeah, this laptop is good, but keep in mind that 6 GB of VRAM is not enough if you want to uh, make open world scene uh, without optimization. Yeah, of, uh, of course, if you're looking at a laptop for uh, animations with, for characters with, yes, uh, open world scenes, woods, a uh, lot of uh, houses. So, yeah, you can look for 8 gigabytes of VRAM. So, like RTX 3060 or 3080. But, of course, if you don't need a mobility, a uh, better choice to choose a desktop GPU. Actually, the RTX 3060 GPU version has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So, it should be enough for all projects. Uh, sometimes, yeah, if scene is not optimized well, you can, of course, Blender can eat 12 GB of VRAM, 20 GB of VRAM. It's uh, for very heavy scenes, for big projects. Yeah, of course, we need super, super power for these scenes. But for learning purposes, for small projects, uh, 3060 desktop version 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Actually, you can buy it for 300 euros if it is used, maybe 250 euros. So, actually, yeah, if you're looking for desktop, 3060 12 gigabytes of VRAM version is pretty good. If you're looking laptop, yeah, it's 3060 gigabytes of VRAM uh, laptop. Uh, GPU is pretty. Uh, it's a budget, yeah, budget GPU. But I guess uh, my next one GPU uh, for laptop will be 3068 gigabytes of VRAM. Yeah, it should be a better GPU because almost 25% uh, 
uh, capacity uh, for that GPU. Actually, yeah. instead of six gigabytes uh, VRAM, you will get eight gigabytes of RAM. So it's, I guess, uh, pretty decent a difference between mm, those uh, GPUs. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. If you have a question, please uh, leave a uh, comment below. I will try to do some projects uh, with, with laptop and I will see how it works, if it's good for me or not. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. See you next time.